Hello everyone, Arthur Kopek from PR3 Systems here. Today we'll take a look at how to read and write from a Hadoop file system in DataStage. Version 9.1 of DataStage offers a new stage called the Big Data File Stage, which allows developers to create jobs which read and write the files that are stored in a Hadoop file system. Before we can utilize this stage, we have to configure the DataStage environment correctly and obtain some information which is required by the stage. What exactly do we have to configure in the data stage environment? That information falls outside the scope of this video, but please feel free to contact PR3 Systems so that we can assist you in your configuration. In short, we have to make the Hadoop components, specifically the various libraries used by your Hadoop distribution, available to the data stage server. Once these components are made available, we can modify the DSENV file to correctly set the environment variables for proper integration between Hadoop and data stage. Today, we'll be only taking a look at how to configure the Big Data File stage in the Data Stage Designer. Let's see at how to use the stage as a source or how to read files which exist in Hadoop. First, we'll open up the Big Data File stage. If you use Data Stage in the past, you'll notice that most of the properties in the Big Data File stage are very similar to the sequential file stage. For example, our read method can be specified either as a specific file or as a file pattern. Underneath the Options section, we have some additional properties which are also familiar. For example, first line is column names, missing file mode, and reject mode. The file property, which is located at the top of the window, will point to the actual name and the directory of the file which exists in the Hadoop file system. Let's specify this information by copying and pasting some text now. The additional properties, which are different from the sequential file stage, are the file property sub properties. We could add the following properties in the big data file stage, such as BDFS cluster host, BDFS cluster port number, and BDFS user, which in turn add the required BDFS group property. Let's add these properties now. These properties have to be correctly specified in order to be able to communicate with the Hadoop cluster. Let's go ahead and fill out the required information for communicating with Hadoop. Once you specify the required file and connection information, you can then click the View Data button in order to verify that the stage can correctly read the data from Hadoop. And that's all we have to do. Before we run this job, let's go ahead and take a look at the data in the file we're trying to read from a web console which allows us to browse the various files which exist in the Hadoop file system. The specific file that we want to read is a file called Derek Jeter Batting .txt, which exists in the slash Hadoop slash HDFS slash data slash MLB slash batting directory. We specify this information by copying and pasting it into the big data file stage. By clicking on this file, you could actually view the contents of the file so that when you run your job, you should expect the data that you will be producing in your job to be representative of what you're viewing in the web console. Let's go back to the designer, save, compile, and run our job. When we view the data in the target stage, we could see that the data will be exactly representative of what we previously saw in the web console. The big data file stage also supports an optional reject link, which can be added to the job by creating a secondary link coming out of the stage. The dashed lines of the link represent it being a reject link. This optional reject link allows you to capture any record which might fail to get right into the data stage environment due to a metadata issue. Now when we create this reject link, we have to open up the stage 
that it is attached to and change the reject mode property equal to output. Otherwise we would not be able to compile our job. The required configuration of the stage when it is used as a target is almost exactly the same. We have to specify the required directory and file name along with the required connection information such as the cluster host, the cluster port number, the user, as well as the group. Once this information has been specified, you can then save, compile, and run your job. And you've successfully created a job which reads data from a local file and places it in a file in the Hadoop file system. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video.